Hey everyone, this is Mitchell. I uh, just decided to do a quick video over how to uh, get your DVDs onto your computer because, uh, let's be honest, you all clicked on this because you want to uh, put this all on your computer so you can share it with all your friends. I know what you're doing, so that's why I'm doing it. And that's why I'm going to show you today. Yes. All right, let's get started. I uh, did some searching and found that a program called Handbrake uh, is pretty much the wi most widely used program for this kind of stuff. So it's just an internet site. I'll post the uh, link in the description. Just go there, uh, download it, install it, and boom. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So uh, this isn't actually what it looks like when you open it, but when you do open it for your first time, it says, do you want to download VLC? And everyone, you need VLC. Um, I click the option not to use VLC, but um, yeah, it doesn't work. I tried ripping a movie with it, without it, um, rather, and uh, the audio was messed up, the picture was messed up, it was all staticky, you can't tell what was going on. So, uh, yes, definitely get VLC, it's just another download, not too bad. Um, and then, when you open it, um, what you're going to do when you first open it is come up here to source and click on that. Um, I have dodgeball in right now because I'm boss. So I'm going to click that. And when you click it, computer's thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, you get all this crap, okay? Lucky for us, we don't need to do anything with any of that. All you have to do is click on this uh, DVD and press open. I'm just gonna do it just cause I, I had School of Rock in here beforehand and so I need to scan uh, the new dodgeball DVD. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start, yeah, there you go, scanning the titles. And um, uh, I think all this means is that th there's the titles are like on your DVD, your special features, I can show you right here. Um, these ones that are like one minute and three minute and eight minute, I believe those are either previews or special features and on the menu. Uh, don't quote me on that because I have no idea if that's correct or not. But um, yes, if you want the movie, it's the one that's usually over an hour. Yeah. So click on that. That's usually the first one. And then this section right here, it's very cool. What you can do is you can, if you just want part of your, um, if you just want to rip part of the DVD, you can select by chapters, seconds, or frames. So we'll just go with chapters and, and say you want one through, or like you want to rip a, um, the movie from, I don't know, chapter 15 to the end. You can do that. Legitimate. It's awesome. That's how you roll, okay? Very nice. Uh, destination, pretty self-explanatory. Where you want your MP4 file to be located once you rip it. Um, output settings. All right, this is where we get into kind of some technical crap that I don't really care too much about. And I'm guessing you don't either. But I'll explain it for you anyway, just because I'm boss. Okay? All right, down here in the quality section is where most people spend their time just because everyone is trying to get the best quality rip from their DVD. So this target size right here, um, that's if you only have like a gig, or no, I'm sorry, yeah, if you have like a flash drive that's only a gig um, in size and you need to fit dodgeball onto it, you can say, I just want it to be a thousand megabytes and it will create a file that's a thousand megabytes and it will give you the best quality for that size of file very nice if you want to do something like that or if you just have a really really small um, computer and you don't have size for it which I do not so I'm going to stick to the average bitrate and constant quality um, average bitrate is the amount of data per second that it is um, ripping from the DVD 
And constant quality is just pretty much the same thing. Um, I can't honestly give you the difference between the two, um, but I can tell you that this constant quality, they ha it has this bar down here. And the farther, at 18, it says RF of 18 right now. And come down here and change this. Um, all the way at zero is no compression at all, and you're going to get a huge file. You do not want that, because you will end up with a file that's bigger than the file that's on your DVD. That is no good. This file is going to be huge. So you want to stick to around an RF of anywhere from, I'd say around from 20 to about 17. Somewhere in there. If you deviate too much from that, it's exponential. As you go to the right, you'll just keep getting a bigger and bigger file. And it's not going to look much different than an RF value of, I don't know, 19, say. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, frame rate and video codec. Um, you know, I don't know much too much about that. I usually just do um, this H.264 and the frame rate, I just same as source. Um, then picture settings. You, you know what? I, I don't know too much about this. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Um, so you can look that up if you want to. It's not too big of a deal. Um, and then finally, the preview window. All right, if you want to preview your what your movie will look like before you rip it, which is good because when I first started ripping, or the first DVD I ripped, it, took, it takes about an hour to two hours, and it was terrible quality, and I had to delete it and start all over again. I wasted two hours of my life. Yes, don't do it. Right here is the preview screen, and you can even have a live preview, so it will encode 10 seconds of it, and it will play it to you, for you. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. That that's a very good resource to to use. Use it. Um, and then finally, the the settings that I use to rip DVDs is simple. It's right here, Apple TV Legacy. For some reason, I found that this setting, or this, yeah, yeah, this setting is the best. And I tried. A lot of these Apple, these two Apple TVs, high profile. Um, it just seems to work out the best. So I mean, and you can also deviate from this a little bit if you want to increase or decrease the bit rate, or I don't know, use anamorphic, um, loose. Uh, what? You know, I don't, I don't care. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help you out here. Apple TV Legacy is where it's at. So yeah, there you go. And then all you need to do is up here. Press play, and boom, it will start ripping your DVD from the D. Or, wow, wow, let me start over. It will start ripping from your DVD, and it will create your MP4 file, at, and it will put it in this destination. Uh, yeah, easy enough, guys. Um, I think that's all. that's all the information that I have for you right now. You're very welcome. Now go break some laws.